right, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for joining in today. Uh, today we're looking at video number 10 in the JMRI series. And this video is one that's not entirely necessary for you to be able to run trains on your layout. However, uh, for me, I want to talk about this concept because it can really help with some uh, housekeeping. And uh, if you really want to work with it a bit, you can actually eliminate a lot of the mundane tasks uh, that you would need with JMRI as far as uh, like running trains and printing switch lists and all that good stuff. Now, to be fair, uh, the nice thing about JMRI is there really isn't a lot of things you have to do. You just kind of hit build a few times. But anyways, uh, let's talk about the dilemma here that we need to address. So on this layout for our demo, we have uh, three staging yards. So here's one staging yard. This is the Can Canadian National Staging Yard. And a train comes in here going uh, north or south. I can't remember. And then it leaves uh, going the opposite direction. So it comes in one direction, leaves the opposite direction. All right. As far as JMRI goes, you know, it's coming in north, leaving south. These two staging yards, uh, this is the, uh, I guess this is the westbound yard. Yep. And this is the eastbound yard. These trains will more or less always go one direction. So uh, this SD60 and this ES44AC, uh, both of these guys will always be going west. Uh, so they're currently sitting in the eastbound yard. And the problem is in JMRI, when they get finished, the route that we created has them finishing over here in westbound staging. But I'm not gonna run the locomotive backwards uh, next time. I'm not gonna run it east. And so the problem I have is I want to basically have JMRI think that I'm putting this locomotive in this train uh, right back into the same yard it came from. And there is a way to do that. Uh, you can do it manually. So I'm going to show you the legwork that we need to do in order to get it set up so that you can actually make this move. Uh, this is basically what we call run through staging. Uh, and then also I'm going to show you at the end how to create a script, sorry, not a script, an automation to do it for you uh, automatically. Okay. So uh, let's jump right into panel pro and let's take a look at what we have. All right. So uh, let's see, actually I need the trains menu. So here are our trains menu. Uh, I've already been doing a little bit of testing just to make sure that the concept works. It looks pretty good. So we're going to work with the eastbound through train and the eastbound way freight. So uh, these trains sit over here in west staging and then they head eastbound. They finish on in uh, technically in east staging, but then we want to move them over to west staging so that they're ready for the next op session. So here's how we do this. First, uh, we're going to need to make a new location. So we're going to go to locations. And you'll see I have made one for the westbound already. We're going to make a temporary holding staging area uh, for KCS East staging. Because if you think about it, if the train's going to terminate in uh, East or West staging, and then we're going to use this new idea to move it, it, it might move the wrong train. So what we want to do is we want to move uh, these through trains and these way freights when they finish up. We want them to be in a separate place uh, that we can keep track of. The nice thing about JMRI is when you use a hyphen and a print C, everything after that is not printed on the switch list. So even though we're going technically to a different location in JMRI, the switch list shows that you're just going to West Staging. So for us, we're going to add a new location and we're going to call it a KCS East Staging and then Temp Hold. So here we go. And just remember that this is uh, what we're going to do in order to help move the train uh, between staging yards so that next time it's it's sitting, as far as JMRI is concerned, it's sitting in the correct uh, correct track. All right, so add that location. We're going to change it to staging only, and we're going to add two staging tracks. That's all we need, so we're going to call it track one. Uh, we're going to give it a length of 700 feet. We're going to go ahead and empty cars with custom loads, and that is the only thing we're going to do. We're going to make sure it accepts everything. All right, and then I'm going to add a track two. All right, and then we are also going to make sure that it empties uh, custom loads. Let's see. Yep, uh, we're not going to worry about generating custom loads. That's for later on the staging tracks that we already have. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our eastbound trains and we're going to change them. So we need to go to routes and instead of terminating in westbound staging, uh, they're going to terminate in uh, our temporary hold section. Or sorry, instead of terminating in eastbound staging, they're going to terminate in our 
uh, temporary hold eastbound staging. So let's go for the eastbound through train. Let's go to edit. And for its last location, instead of doing KCS East staging, let's change it to KCS East staging temporary hold. I'm going to add that location. Uh, but I want to duplicate all the previous data. I don't want to actually make a new spot. So I want to change those so that they all fit. And then I'm going to delete KCS East staging. So now when this train terminates, it's going to be in our temporary holding yard that doesn't physically exist. It just exists in JMRI. Okay. And then same thing for the way freight. So we're going to add a staging temporary hold. Uh, we're going to change that to 20 cars. No here. And then 700 feet. And then we will delete East staging. Perfect. Okay. So now if we were to build these trains and run them, uh, they would terminate in this temporary holding yard. From there, you want to move them back over to the westbound staging yard because uh, they're starting in the westbound yard and they're heading east. All right, so for us, let's see, these are our routes. We're good on routes now. We're going to come back and talk about this restager in just a minute. Uh, so let's see, we can close locations. We don't need that right now. So here we're looking at our trains. So notice I have this westbound restager. So this is the train that we're going to use to actually move our uh, terminated trains from one staging yard to another. Okay, so here we go. Um, now we'll be honest, if you only use staging areas, like this Canadian National one here, if you don't actually use any run through staging, then you don't need to do anything I'm talking about right now. You only need to do this if you want to use run through staging. And the advantage for run through staging that some people like is you don't have to fiddle with the trains as much, like turning locomotives or putting cars in a different order uh, it's a little less maintenance, but at the same time, you know, <laughs> it's a little bit more advanced feature jam right here that we have to work with. All right, so uh, back to routes. Let's get our restager route going. So we're going to start this in the um, east staging temporary hold, and we're going to move it to west staging. We're going to put it to 20 car links. Uh, pickups, yes, set outs, no, and then the opposite on the next one because we're only setting out here. the uh didn't hit enough zeros there we go all right 700 feet for both situations so this will pick up a maximum of 20 cars from the temporary hold uh staging yard and move a maximum of 20 cars uh cars to kcs west staging remember these trains start in west staging and then they move across the layout east to the east staging so we want to take them back when the route uh when the operation is done all right so there we go now we need a train for this route so we're going to go back to JMRI and we're going to add a train and we're going to call this train the eastbound restager. I'll do the description later. We're just basically going to remind ourselves that this restages trains from uh, westbound staging to eastbound staging or sorry, eastbound staging to westbound staging. All right. So here we go. Add that train on the route. We're going to choose eastbound restager. Would you look at that? All right. And so notice it departs KCS East staging temporary hold and terminates in KCS West staging. So these two through trains here, all right, they terminate in this temporary hold. So they start in West staging, they go to East staging temporary hold and they terminate. So then if we were to build, after we terminate those two trains, if we were to build this restager, then what happens is it will move one of these two trains from the temporary yard back to west staging where it starts for the next round that's the whole purpose here and you need to do this twice one for each train okay so manually all you would do is just you know build your two trains then over here you would click move until they terminate and then when you're done you would build this train move until it terminates and you would do that twice and that would move both of these trains for you all right and then that's it but what I want to talk about now is how to use automation to do this for you automatically. So on the trains menu, you're going to go to tools, type in automation, and you'll see that I already have two up. These are for the westbound trains. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a new automation. We're going to call it the eastbound restager. And we want this to be for the uh, through train. I can type. All right, there we go. So we're going to add that automation. And here is how you want to sequence this. There are lots of options. You go to click add at the bottom left. 
there's lots of things you can automate all kinds of good stuff all right but i'm just going to focus on trying to build this train and move it okay so we're going to uh let's see we're going to choose wait for train to terminate and the train that we're waiting for is the eastbound through train because it's this is for the through okay then i'm going to add and i'm going to say build train and we're going to build the eastbound restager and i'm going to add another thing we're going to say we want to move the eastbound restager and we want to move it to kcs west staging it's going to start in temporary east staging we want to take it to west staging then i want to terminate this train so we're going to say terminate eastbound restager and then one last thing that i want to do i want to restart this uh, automation so that I don't have to do that manually next time that way it creates a cycle so I want to do um, let's see where is it it is run automation and I'm going to choose uh, eastbound restrager through so that's going to restart this uh, for us this this automation for us whenever we complete so it'll it'll step through gets here it'll restart itself and then it'll be waiting for this train to terminate again which is exactly what we want so i'm going to save that automation i'm going to close that out notice status says nothing i want to make sure i hit run you want to make sure this is running before you terminate the train because if this is not running and you terminate the train uh it's not going to do anything all right but we want it to do uh, this every time so we have one more to add so we're going to add automation this time we're going to do eastbound Restager, and this is going to be for the wafer. All right, I'm going to add automation, and let's see, we had I think it was five, so we have first uh, wait for train to terminate. This is the eastbound wafer. At right, this time, we're going to build a train that is the eastbound restager. We're going to move the train that is the uh, let's see eastbound restager. We're moving it to west staging. And then we're going to terminate the train. That is the eastbound restager. And then we're going to, one last time, make sure that we run the automation. That is the eastbound restager way free. All right. Then I'm going to hit save, close this out, and then hit run. Okay. So now what's, what you're going to see all right, is as I build these two trains, I'm going to build them, print their switch lists, and I'm going to step through manually right here. Once we're done with the first one, you're gonna see this train is gonna get built, moved, and terminated instantaneously. And then that's gonna move some cars for us. And so I'll show you, I'll show you what happens. So here we go, let's talk through the first one. Let's do the, let's do the eastbound through train first. I'm gonna build, all right, it's gonna get me 10 cars to start with. I'm gonna print that. Uh, let's save it as eastbound through. That way we can open it. Yes, I wanna replace it. All right, so let's open it up here. So eastbound through has this switch list. So we're picking up uh, the SD70 Ace, and then we've got two, four, six, eight, uh, nine cars. Yep. And then it looks like we're picking up one box car, and then we're setting out uh, all nine of our cars in that yard and picking up, or then setting out uh, two here in staging. Notice it says it's it's setting out an east staging, and it doesn't say temporary hold, but it is the temporary hold. It's just not telling us that. Okay, so all we know is, hey, drive to East Staging. All right, so for this, uh, let's go ahead and put that away for a second. I'm gonna go and show you something. Let's go to Cars. So in the Cars menu, you can see we have these nine cars have been set out for our train or chosen for our train, plus one pickup down here. I'm gonna highlight those for now so we can see where they go, okay? All right, now let's hit Move. So if I hit Move, now it's at the interchange yard, move again. Now it's at East staging and I'm going to terminate. So remember when I hit this terminate button, what we should see is this restager up here should build, move and terminate. Okay, so watch, here we go. Perfect. So what we have here is we have, um, we have terminated our first train. The eastbound restager also went through and did its work. So if this did its job, then some of our cars that we took into staging with us should now be sitting in West Staging Track 2. Those cars are specifically just this box car. All right, so let's go look. Let's go look where he is. Let's pull up that car menu again. So, cars. 
So just that one boxcar, that was this guy. Where is he sitting? West Staging Track 2. So the automation did its job. Okay, now we have one more train to do. So let's go watch uh, the next one this time. First thing I want to do, though... Uh, no, we'll leave that for now. I'll fix it in a second. All right, here we go. We also need to do the wave rates. I'm going to build the wave rate. I'm going to print. Um, let's see. Oh, I see that pulled the wrong train, but it's all good. It's okay. We're going to make it work. I was hoping, I, you know, it's one of those things. If I built it before we terminated the other one, which I should have done, but it's okay, uh, this wouldn't happen. But there's a whole train here that I wanted to pick up that it's not, but that's okay. So eastbound, wave freight. No worries. Yes, I want to place it. Uh, let's see what that switch list looks like. This is not that one. So let's see. Yeah, sure enough. So this is actually just picking up the exact same train we just deleted. Once again, that's because I, I terminated it before I did the other one. Um, I was hoping it would pick up the other train, but that's okay. It's still going to show us everything we need to see. Okay. So we have two pickups at the interchange yard. Uh, we have one set out um, that we're making in the interchange yard. And then, of course, uh, we're going to be putting two of us uh, at or two of these at Wayside Industries. And then we're going to be running light actually into our staging yard. So all that we're running to see right now is uh, when we terminate this train, we want to see this eastbound restager run again. All right. So it should say like 02 because it's two minutes after 12. So here we go. Bingo. Okay. So the script is doing its job. Now, to be fair, I know this is pretty complicated. Uh, and I know this is not something everybody's going to just love to see or hear about. So I'll go back and I'll remind you. If you only use staging yards where you come in northbound and you leave southbound, where you come in eastbound and you leave westbound, you never have to worry about what I, what I just put in this video. Okay? But if you do a run-through staging for JMRI to work like you want and not give you a ton of headaches, you've got to create something like this. You don't have to make the scripts. But you need to have the trains, the restagers that are going to move them for you. Okay? So I would go back and watch this video a couple times. Pause if you need to. Watch it, my examples. And then, you know, don't hesitate to ask some questions in the comments if you need to. But I uh, appreciate it, guys. That's going to be it for this one. Uh, I'm going to kind of clean up the mess I just made and get ready for our next video. In our next video uh, next week, we're going to go ahead and actually start operating some trains here. So that'll be fun. Kind of see all of our work finally come to fruition. So appreciate it, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. And... Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.